Hey everyone, welcome to the Clips channel. Did you know this isn't our main channel? But yet you should subscribe over and find our main videos and our streams as well. We also have a podcast that you can find wherever podcasts can be found. So explore the internet. See you there. Well, All right. man, um, yeah. ain't, nothing, ain't nothing next but to click on this glowing blue exit. Let's do it. Wait, what? Oh, oh, okay, well, <laughs> next time. Next time. Well, let's, let's, let's talk. Wait, oh. wait, what? It just kicks us out, and now it's another... It's yeah. the same thing. It's the same place we were hanging out. Interesting. I guess so we can meet up with the Scions. Yeah, all right. I'm clicking on Reen. Or so we can just, like, really feel the lack of music up here. Yeah. Well, I, I, hang uh, on, hang on. I want, uh, I want to check the Alpha Nose. Well, it looks like we missed it all yet again. A dramatic transformation, the result of Sin Eater within emerging to claim dominance, I assume. He seemed kind of sad when he died, though, so he was still sort of in control. All right, I'm reening. Are you reening? Are we ready? Uh, if you're reening, I'll start, rec I'll start recording. Or Sounds good. Re recording? Yeah. That's terrible. Let's go with it. You were reening. Is that Vothri? I explain. I see. It's finally over, then. Now night will return to all of Norvrand, bring salvation to both our two worlds. On speaking with Reen, several cutscenes will play in sequence. Well, uh, I bet they will. Yeah. It's recommended that you set aside sufficient time to view these scenes in their entirety. Should you leave the area, you may return here by speaking with the sentry posted at the entrance to Mount Golg. If you skip, your stream will riot. Oh, boy. There's so much hair. But it is you Just skip, it's a boring cutscene. Okay. Skip and boost to 90. I hope I am righteousness. I am is that gonna be it? Just a little father told me? We're not doing a full blown like when he's a Who's child father? backstory? That is why I was born as man and sin to both. Oh, dad got busy. I kept the people safe. They respected me. Worship me. How can this be? I should be the one looking down at you. Unfortunately, you're in a basically a JRPG. Haven't you heard? We kill gods. Yeah. Here we go. So are we not done yet and we got to go find father and it's that mystery zone and we still need to bring night there look the sky okay a normal sky yep 
Yeah. Oh, Calvin flashback. Oh, echo time. I thought we were gonna be light sick again. It's daddy. Fools! Were it not for my decisive action, the whole city would have been overrun, razed to the ground. Yet they dare to complain about casualties? Spare me. I'll wager they were put up to it by those wretches who seek to usurp me. They're stirring up the citizenry. But if they think I will yield to the likes of them, they are gravely mistaken. To be subjected to such <laughs> deplorable treatment, such ingratitude. You have my sympathy, sir. You do so much good for this city, and you could do so much more were you not surrounded by fools. Oh! Ooh. We get to see him in his Asian robes. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Who are you? You're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> My apologies for the intrusion, but I come bearing a proposal. One that will ensure the longevity of he your He has better reign. posture now. Yeah, well, it suggests it was a long time ago. I mean, not terribly long, right? But give me the word, sir, and I will bring hither a light warden. Grandpa just died. By giving its power whoa, to whoa, the whoa, babe on. within your lady wife's womb, we shall create a transcendent being, a king to rule over all. And as sire to the king, your authority will never again be in question. We're sort of right about our prediction there. How did... Yeah, but how does Emmett have sway over Light Wardens? <laughs> Amazing. Before my Vorthry, <laughs> they behave as docile pets. <laughs> With this gift, my line should be guaranteed power for perpetuity. We shall rule the whole world. Onward again. By all means, sir. United under Yulmor's banner, men will cease fighting and abandon their ambitions. Thus, they will grow fat and complacent, and in their sloth, seal your supremacy. So, it, it was by design. What is getting that? Little string pull. Okay, that wasn't, like, super sad. Like, you know, it was a good justification. We're not done yet. <laughs> oh, okay. Are you all right? All right. Say, something. Say something. Twelve for Fend. He cannot contain the light. He's beginning oh. to turn. Orionje, if you've ought up your sleeve, he now is the time. He doesn't have sleeves. Well, he's got his white aura sight. He could, like, pop it out, but that means we wouldn't have it for Emmett later. It's changing back. Oh. Interesting. Didn't see that coming. Yeah. The combined power of every Light Warden is too terrible a burden for any one soul to bear. What you doing, Exar? Yeah, you're seeming a little suspect. And so I shall relieve you of it. channel this profusion of power to the crystal tower and use it to travel to no. other worlds as I have dreamed of doing ever since I first learned of their existence who would choose to remain here in this dying realm when they might go elsewhere and begin anew not I and thus thus did I use you huh. I don't believe you. It doesn't make sense. I agree with Green. 
Damn you! We won't let you do with him as you please. Do not interfere! Please, I beseech you all, let him go! You knew of this, Urianger. That's why I have trust problems. It is all a fiction. Such vaguely defined acts of teleportation stand no chance of success. The Exarch will never live to see another world, as he knows only too well. Yeah. Then, what does he mean to do? Take the power somewhere else and blow up. He means to take the light with him into the rift, where he will die. Yeah, I called it. Yeah, he's trying to do that. Don't feel <laughs> bad the beginning, for me. From the beginning, he I'm a intended villain. to sacrifice himself to save our friend and Norvrent. Like One Punch Man. Like uh, Goku would sell the King Kai's planet. Yeah. At journey's end, an opportunistic thief makes off with the hero's prize. A paltry way to end a chapter. I concede. Yet your tale will continue, and my role in it will Wait, scarcely who are be you? remembered. Before you die, I need answers. But we're, we're bros. Worry not. Whatever should become of me, I will be happy and free, safe in the knowledge that I have played my part. Oh, nice music. Hey! Hey, look at that! Blows up the skirt, cattail. <laughs> I'm gonna call him by his name. Yeah, dude! <laughs> yeah, count me down! You ready? Yep. Three, two, one, Grahatia. Yep. They don't even. Oh, you don't even say it aloud. Oh, don't show me a sad face. Yeah. Thank you for fighting for this world, for believing. Fare you well, my friend, my inspiration. Let's say, was that a gunshot? And there we have it. Like son, like grandfather. Only those who possess the royal eye of the Alagan Imperial line are capable of controlling the Crystal Tower. Such individuals do not exist in the first. Therefore, in all likelihood, the Exarch arrived here with the tower. This much I had surmised, yet I could not discern his grand scheme. To think that he went through all this trouble for the sake of a single hero. It's almost admirable in its absurdity. Alas, it is not your grand scheme that will succeed, but ours. You bastard! Stay put. Your friend is still alive, but whether he remains so depends on you. Oh, really? We're doing this now? <sighs> Interesting. What a disappointment you turned out to be. I placed my faith in you. Let myself believe that you could contain the light. But look at you now. Halfway to becoming a monster. You are unworthy of my patronage.
<laughs> I don't think the bottom one is all that helpful to ask right now. Yeah, no, because we, we've confirmed it. <laughs> all right. Sinking on top? Yep, sounds good. Three, two, one, go. Dear, <sighs> what a bastard. I am an Asian. My heart's sole desire is to usher in the great rejoining. I like that he used us. A hundred years ago, I entrusted my comrade Logriff with the task of increasing light sway over this world. This we sought to do by manipulating heroes. When that failed to achieve the desired result, I created Vorthri. But thanks to your meddling, that too has ended in failure. What was your true purpose in approaching us? By your twelve, boy, have I not told you before that everything I said was the truth? <laughs> you were specimens by which I might gauge man's potential as it stands. I genuinely had an interest in you, genuinely considered taking you on as allies. Provided he could contain and control the light. If not, then he, and by extension you, would be of no use to me. T'was as simple as that. So, we've been found wanting. How disheartening. But even had we fulfilled your conditions, there was no guarantee that we would cooperate. What then? Then I simply kill you all. At the very least, it would restore the world to the way it was before you went about trouncing light wardens willy-nilly. Suffice it to say, it would be most inconvenient to have all that light taken away. And I would be lying if I were to claim his actions didn't have me worried. Hmm. You still retain your form and your senses. But you have all but become a Sin Eater. Whether you will it or no, your mere existence will serve to engulf the world in light. Those in your company will likewise turn into Sin Eaters, and in time you will succumb to your base instincts and hunt innocents to feast on their sweet, sweet ether. Those few with the will left to fight may rise up against you, but before your absolute might, they will quickly know despair. There is no hope. We are finished. Mankind is finished. Ah, oh, the irony. <laughs> what Vorfri achieved through bliss, you achieved through despair. You're just drinking the scene. You but know, I have overstayed my welcome. I shall look forward to seeing you bring the world to its knees, hero. Exarch! I have naught to show for all the time and effort I invested in you. He is a small token for my troubles. Wait, what? He's <laughs> just taking the exile? I did not expect that I could learn aught from man, but I may yet learn something from all the knowledge he had hoarded for his precious hero. He bought the Omega statue. Oh my god, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> I pity you, I do. Your friends are now your foes. If you do not kill them, they will kill you. When it all becomes too much to bear, seek me out at my abode in the dark depths of the Tempest. There, I would like to go there. you may complete your descent into madness with some dignity, far from prying eyes. 
dude. I'm with you. A time jump here would be the Kill most there, baller thing. I bid you farewell. Eater. Like, wake up thinking you killed all your friends some long time later. Dude, he calls us eater. Everyone's yeah. been calling us sinner. That's great. Yeah. Eater. But I guess Reen can manipulate the light, so maybe she, you know, squashed it down for a bit. Now we're on a time limit. The well, last time we weren't feeling that good, we could... Hardberg could, like, touch us. So what happens now when we have even more light in us? Ah. Finally. Mm. But... <laughs> Uh, I don't think but, it was but, a dream. <laughs> no, I think. Uh, but I, I also think know what happened. happened. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I I'm going to go with the bottom one because yeah. I, I want to know what happened in the in between. Are you ready? Right. Ready? Right. Three, two, one, go. After you collapsed. Emmett Selk vanished. Then Reen did what she could to stay the raging of the light within your body. Thanks to her, you're still you. But she's only delayed the inevitable. You're not going to like what you see, but you still need to see it. Did we barf? We are the Sin Eater to be killed now. It's like this all over. Mm. The whole of Norvrat is shrouded in light again. And it's because of you and the power you absorb from the Wardens. No one knows but your friends. When they carried you down from the mountain, they told everyone waiting below that they didn't understand why the light had returned. Now they're out there trying to allay the people's fears while searching for a way to save you. Dude, that is just perfectly gut-wrenching writing. Yeah. It was wonderful. Well, now you're alone and free to go visit Emmett, right? Oh, is that what we look like to ourselves? Yeah. Oh. If you're well enough to be up, you're well enough to get some fresh air. Better that than stewing in here. Go on. Go. Jeez. That's awesome writing. Creeps around the world as a friggin' monster? Yeah. <sighs> oh, that's brilliant! Uh. How many games... Honestly, mostly Zelda, but how many games have you played where... You play for a while and the world is just plunged into darkness. Like yeah. everything is just horrible and it seems like there's no hope. And this this game just 
Uh, first of all, already upends that because you go to a world that's upend like plunged into light and there's no hope. But then you spend the entire expansion fighting back against it. And then they just hit the fucking reset button. It's so good. Ah. Uh. Oh my god. Uh yeah. That's that's great. That's wonderful. Uh so we just do it all over again, Kyle. Um we raid ourselves and uh <laughs> I don't know. I'm just reading through. That went fast. I'm just reading through the the dialogue from the previous scene. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so stay put. Your friend is still alive, but whether he remains so depends on you. Okay, so Crystal X Arc is alive, which I gathered by him teleporting. I just wanted to check the words. Uh, yeah. I would I would not have taken that scene on autoplay if I was watching it by myself. I would have, like, line by line, he was going. He had so much to say in there. I also respect the living shit out of the fact that uh, instead of some convoluted bullshit, he just pulls a gun and shoots Gratia. <laughs> like, dude, that's like, you, uh, yeah, he sure did. It, the, it's dense enough. It's dense enough already. So be simple where you can be simple. Get to like, just get to the point. Ah, oh, that's great. Thank you for the chandelier. Yeah, I agree. Because if he had Ugh. cast some sort of crazy spell we'd never seen before, we would have gone, ah, what's that spell? What did it do? Did it sap his soul? Did it split him well, in half? Also, it, tie, it ties him to his freaking, it ties him to his freaking grandson. Yeah. yeah like, <laughs> this is literally what his grandson did to him. Yeah, because anything else under the sun, under the light would have caused you to question what happened. But a gun, it's, a gun's a gun. So there's no reason like, to, yeah, he just <laughs> shot him. Shot him. He just shot him. I love that we're alone now. That's great. I hope we stay alone for a bit and like really just like one-on-one uh, -on -one Emmett. Like, uh, like, yeah. Oh yeah. We just, we just like disappear into a sad state of, of hanging out with Emmett and trying not to turn. Cause I've got no problem. Like power friendship, them showing up later, but I, I really want to like. And you I, know, I, I appreciate the champagne, everybody. This doesn't really seem like the occasion. <laughs> It's a bit sad up in here. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little serious. Uh, but man, I don't. And they just can't kill us, right? Because we're we're a sin eater. So so whoever kills us, they they become the next in line. Like yeah, it's just gonna pass on. The rule of sin eaters still applies. So unless they find someone else that can absorb it, uh, like. It's not a trope that happens a lot. The whole like, uh, ah, I'm actually a bad guy, but they're lying, you know, winking at the camera. Like, I know it from One Punch Man when he killed the Sea King. You did. You mentioned Goku. Like, it's a trope, but I, it doesn't happen often. And I really like the noble sacrifice while I'm pretending to be the villain. It's a really uh, good. Yeah, I, I mean, Goku, Goku doesn't pretend to be a villain. Yeah, he doesn't it's pretend to be a, a villain. It's just I'm, yeah. I'm sacrificing myself. I'll see you later, son, you know. Um, but also here it's great because j they just undercut it. Like, hey, that's nice. Um, I'm gonna shoot you now before you're able to. Yeah. So obviously we're gonna have more scenes with Graha because if they if, if Graha was dead, they would have they wouldn't have strung us along with the if you well, you know whether he lives or not it depends entirely on you. And then why Emmett did takes him to torture him? Yeah. Why did where did Minfilia go when um? when uh, Joey Sideburns took her to the trial cuz was he trying well, to get something from Minfilia is that like Assy in prison dimension that's probably where he is then is an Assy in prison probably wherever Emmett it told us to meet him right i feel yeah. he referred to it as i'm unfamiliar with it uh, um, the chrysalis that's what it was called it's called the chrysalis yeah but, but Emmett said something in the cutscene he specified a, a specific location the in that cutscene I'm, I'm tempest there you go yeah um yeah me Meet me in the Tempest, so. Imperial line are capable of controlling the Crystal Tower. Such individuals do not yeah. exist in the first. Therefore, <clears throat> in all likelihood, the Arkstark arrives here with the tower. This much I have surmised, yet I could not discern his grand scheme. Yeah, and then you can't kill us because the other person will just become a sin eater, so. Killing us does accomplishes nothing. Right, and I like the poetry yeah. now with Ardbird as we're both warriors of light and darkness that have doomed the world in a sense because we can't. Yeah. 
we can't get rid of us, then the, the light would go somewhere else. So we just sort of wander the planet forever until we find a solution all alone. That's cool. That's cool. This is delightfully uh, uh, hopeless. I love it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's the Absolutely way, love it. It's the low point it should be. Uh, yeah. much, much like this dead Lalafell before me. The two dead Lalafells. 